as we begin our power supply circuit let's take a look at the different components and tools that we'll use to get it done we have a bird beak pliers we have some ethernet cable that we will use for the conductive path right we'll use the pliers to bend and set in whatever position we want the different legs or leads from the semiconductor devices so we have an electrolytic capacitor we have an led light emitter diode we have some silicon diode and we have some inductors this is an inductor coil another type of inductor We also have the breadboard, which we'll be making our circuit on. We have um, conductors that we can use to easily insert from one point to the next. And last but not least, we have the power cable. What's missing, however, is the transformer. At the point of making this video, I did not have a transformer at hand. So I'm sure you'll be able to figure out how you connect the secondary of the transformer. And I'll explain. Now, this is the two input um, conductors to the circuit board each end would be connected to the secondary of the transformer and then the available ends will be connected to the circuit board like you see me doing right here all right so we're about I'm about to put the different diodes on the circuit, right? What you want to do is ensure that you lay, lay it out in such a way that all will fit on the circuit board very easily. Right here, I'm going to connect the cathode of D4 to the anode of D1. Next, I'm going to connect the cathode of D2 to the cathode of D1. Now, if you notice on the drawing, you'll see where two cathodes are connected together. That's what I, that's the connection that I just made. Now for the last diode, I'm going to ensure I make a cathode anode connection right there. and then a anode anode connection at this point now looking at the electrolytic capacitor you'll notice that it has a polarity 
there's a negative side marked by a minus sign and a white stripe. You want that to be turned to the bottom of the circuit. All right, to the left would be the transformation stage, only that the transformer is in there. The middle with the diodes would be the rectification stage. And then we're working on the filtering stage where I'm going to add the inductor coil. From the cathode, cathode end of those two diodes, you need to connect the inductor coil and the other end of the inductor coil to the capacitor, the positive end of the capacitor. So again, we have the terminals from the output of the transformer. We have the rectification stage, and now we have the filtering stage with the coil and the capacitor. Now we're going to make our connections. As I separate these wires and strip the ends, I'll now connect the one end of the terminal coming from the transformer Then I'll connect the other end coming from the secondary terminal of the transformer. Both ends must be connected between cathode anode of D1 and D4 and cathode anode of D2 and D3. Now the cathode and cathode connection of D1 and D2 is connected to the inductor coil and from the inductor coil it's connected to the capacitor. Now we need a connection from the anode and anode of D4 and 3 to the negative end of the capacitor. Now I'm going to connect the output terminals to the load. So one connection goes to the negative end of the capacitor where we connected the two diodes. And then the other terminal will go to the positive end of the capacitor. Now I just put them at some random points towards the right. That could be connected to an LED indicator or some other load. All I did here was shape the the legs to fit the space between the two output terminals that I have. Then fit them right in place. Remember, connection must be made within the same column for each leg. Also remove the diode and leave the terminal open for any other load that uses the output voltage. Now for recap, one end of the transformer is connected to the anode and cathode of these two diodes, R1 and 4, and the other end is connected between the anode and cathode of D2 and 3, and the cathode and cathode of D. 4 and 3 is connected to the capacitor, the negative end of the capacitor. 
the cathode of d1 and the cathode of d2 is connected to the coil coil to the positive end of the capacitor and the output